Hey everybody, it's Anne from Faith and Art Shop and Logos Bookstore in Kent, Ohio. And I just want to say happy spring and um, happy 2021 again. <laughs> um, yeah, so today I've got some products that I wanted to show you that will work really well with spring holidays. Um, I know we just had Easter, but you probably have some pictures that you want to get developed from Easter. So we've got some products that will, um, some scrapbook papers and things that will be great for Easter. Mother's Day, um, First Communion, if your kids are celebrating that, um, and also just some general springtime fun papers. Um, so the first one that I wanted to show you um, is this one called Seeds of Faith, and this is a really cute design from Illustrated Faith. Um, this is the collection kit, so it has um, a variety of papers in it, plus a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So. Let me show you some of these. All the papers that Illustrated Faith makes have, um, they're double-sided, which is really nice because it's a nice heavyweight quality paper with really cute designs. So in the collection kit, there will be two of each sheet. So we've got two of these. And on the back is that cute heart paper. And then this is one of my favorites with the little birdhouses. So there are two of those. And do that on the back music notes too. I'm sure you have plenty of uses for that. Um, these papers are all available individually as well. Um, not all the collections from Illustrated Faith can you do this um, by the single sheets, but with the Seeds of Faith collection you can. Um, and that's cute polka dots on the other side. So again, these would be really cute for um, baby layouts as well. So more birds and plaid. And then floral and another kind of botanical pattern. This one is nice because you can do a full sheet spread with that. And then the butterflies on the opposite side are really sweet. And then this pattern, these are strips so you can cut them and use them just as borders or um, a lot of the illustrated faiths have a sheet like this. So um, the different collections, like there are some Christmas papers that have these border strips and you can make Christmas chains and all kinds of cute stuff. But this, I don't know if you needed a countdown to spring chain or anything like that, but that would have been fun for them. Then these are the three by fours. And um, Bridget, who is usually here with me too, um, showed, showed you this last time, but it's like a little booklet that you can make out of one page of three by fours. And then you can use it as a little mini, mini book. This is from another collection that I'll show you in a minute. But all that is from one sheet. Thanks. Sorry, we had a customer, so I needed to excuse myself for a second. Anyhow, the other set that um, I started to tell you about is this Childlike Faith set, which is this one. Um, this one only comes in a collection kit, so unfortunately the papers aren't loose, but the collection is really sweet, so it's well worth it. So these are the double-sided papers that come in this set, and um, you also get a set of stickers. One thing I forgot to mention in the last set was that you get a 12 by 12 set of stickers, so you get border stickers, alphabets, um, everything, so that's real cute. So that's the Seeds of Faith collection. So back to the Childlike Faith collection, uh, this one has double-sided papers. It has the border sheet, just one of those in the set. A three by four sheet, and just one of those in the set. And then multiple papers. So you've got polka dot with kites. And this is a really cute set because it has um, like outdoor sports and um, like kites and balls and just a lot of kids play stuff. Um, a lot of, well, flying paper, the paper airplane set is really cute too. Um, but then there's like a galaxy kind of look as well. We have some rainbows, stars, my favorite paper, because it's just really cute. And then just these really cute little kids too. So um, in addition to the papers in this collection, we also have a sticker booklet. 
slide these stickers back. So these stickers are only in the set as well. Or I'm sorry, these stickers you can get all you can get on their own. This set you can only get them in the, the collection kit. So anyhow, this is a sticker booklet. I've used some of these for the layout that I'll show you in a minute. But there's a lot of just um, like box shapes, but then there are also these cute galaxy and planets and rockets and stuff. They're cute. Um, there are, we call these tip-ins because you can make like a little flip book with those using some washi tape. Um, you can also use them as a journaling block. So this is like a little scrapbook layout that I did with a couple of our kids' pictures. I just realized I don't have any pictures of Chris in here. <laughs> it would be so sad. Anyhow, so we have uh, Nick and Tasha. And so I did a two page spread, even though in the set, they don't give you two of the exact same papers, but you can always make them coordinate. So um, this is one of those tip in journaling blocks so you can write down information about your day. Here. So anyhow, like I said, this is a really fun set if you wanna do like First Communion too, or any kind of church activity. So there's that. This has clear stamps also, and then two different washi tapes. And all of these are on our site, and the site again is faithandartshop.com. And our show special is 21% off everything in the shop, and you get free shipping on orders over $50. So, we got you. Um, and then this set is called the Beloved Society. So this is nice um, if you're doing layout for like Mother's Day or a girls retreat weekend, things like that. So let me show you what's in this set. So again, this is the sticker set that I was getting confused on before. <laughs> um, but this one is only available in the collection kit and is no longer available to be sold on its own. Um, and then this paper is just really cute. So Beloved Society um, did this set with Dayspring and Illustrated Faith. And so her style is to make like a faceless girls. Um, so very diverse, lots of different ages and um, hairstyles and skin and everything. This is cute. Um, hymnal pages, flowers, just some nice paints. So you, the colors are on trend and they're, they're pretty cute. We'll be right back. Thanks. So um, back to the kit pages. We've got this with the Beloved Society girls on one side and a versatile stripe on the other. I really like this black botanical. And then another watercolor. This is a nice hymnal page. And then pretty flowers and that ties in with the washi tape. That's a part of the set. Very cute. And then this is the um, border pages. So again, you can cut the stripes out of that. And then the three by fours page. You know, can make a book or use those as tip-ins or just accent blocks on your pages. And then the other washi that's in this collection is called Ladies. It has a variety of the Beloved Society girls on it. Green on the other. There you go. So that is that collection. Um, now, in addition to that, let's stick that in there. Okay. So this collection also has ephemera, so little individual pieces that you can add, embellishments that you can add to your um, cards or to your scrapbook pages. Then it has a clear stamp set. And of course, by adding color, you can change the look of that girl. And then the sticker booklet. Okay. So there's that. All right. Oh, and back to the Seeds of Faith collection. A couple things that I hadn't mentioned. 
on the washi tape for this collection. It's this cute bird washi tape. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> um, and then there's another one that says um, shadow of your wings. And so this you can use in Bible journaling or in your um, scrapbooks. Then there is a collection of epoxy stickers. And then this is nice. Um, this is a six by six by eight. Oh, I always forget if it's six by nine or six by eight. Anyhow, this collection of papers is basically the same as this larger 12 by 12 collection. It's just that it's smaller frames. So these are double sided as well. Usually it's a solid color on the back. But even the butterflies and then this um, the Quiet Retreat paper is in there. So there are two complete sets of paper in this. And this is usually $6.99, but you get 21% off when you use that discount code of SPRING21. So that's the discount code. Then in our shop, we have a variety of other washi tapes too. So these would look nice with um, any of the, the two collections that I showed you today. Just nice and colorful and cheerful. And that's what we need. It's a long winter and it's just nice to have it in springtime now <laughs> so um now as far as collection kits i kind of showed you three of them that are in our shop but we have a lot more in the shop too we also have in our shop a clearance page so make sure you check that out because we've got all kinds of fun art supplies and things in that clearance page including um like these paints if you need a lot of neon paints Got them on sale right now. When I originally ordered them, I thought it was a smaller paint size. No, they're giant. So anyhow, if you need a lot of paint, we've got that. Um, then the other things we have in our shop, this, I've, I've shown you this before, but it's really nice. This is an illustrated Bible, but it's just a collection from the Psalms and the Proverbs. So if you ever are interested in doing some Bible journaling, but don't want to start in an actual Bible, if you're not feeling quite comfortable yet, you can do things in this. And it has a really wide three inch margin. Um, the print size is readable and nicely big, which is good. There's plenty of room to do art or make some journaling notes. So this is an example of a page we did using a clear cut tip in. I just did it real fast so I didn't trim off the top or anything. But as you can see, you just use some washi tape, make a little seam there, and then you have space to write, and then you have a decorated page, but you haven't covered over anything permanently. But you can certainly do that too. So some of the other art supplies that we like to show you are gelatos because they're very versatile. Um, they're easy to deal with and their colors are beautiful. So I'm going to show you something with gelatos in a minute. And then also some um, acrylic paint techniques too. So let me show you this. Now, I started doing this earlier. So you can see that the gelatos are just kind of like a, they almost look like a, I want to say like a chapstick or something. They're kind of that style. But it's a waxy paint that's in there. It's water soluble. So when you color, you can just color with them if you wanted to, and it will give you a bright color. But if you just simply add a little bit of water to it, then you can blend these colors. So this is a water, water brush. So there's water in the chamber here, and then just like a, a brush thing. So I'll show you. There's a little drop right there. See that? So what you can do is add some water and you see how that blends it out? You can add a little more water if you want to. But as you're making a rainbow, you can see how the colors will blend together and it's gonna start looking a little bit more like a natural rainbow. So we've got orange, we're going into the yellow. And see how that just pulls that green? I know, it's like watching paint dry, except we're watching paint wet. Huh. Isn't that cool? 
But then now that you've got like ink on on your brush, you can actually use these and color in things. So if you were doing like if you had a coloring book that you're working in or if you had line art, um, you really can just use gelatos as a, a watercolor. And let me kind of squirt some of that water out. I'm going to wipe this off a little bit. So if you wanted to, you can take your water brush and go right to the gelato and then just pull the color from there. So if you're going out and wanted to watercolor, let's say outside, <laughs> but you don't want to bring a whole mess of a kit with you, you can just bring that. And then um, you can use a baby wipe to clean these off. You can, you can also use a baby wipe to blend these colors too. So if you don't have a water brush and you don't want to invest in that, that's fine. So, and then the wetter your brush, the more translucent your color is going to be. So you can see I wiped that off and now that's going to be a little darker, maybe. Anyhow, so that's one thing you can do. Then the other thing I wanted to show you, we're going to stick with rainbows today because it's springtime and I'm of the mindset more color is always better. So we're going to put our gelatos right there. Um, you can use gelatos in a Bible. You can use them in your watercolors. You can use them as you make cards too. So the other technique I wanted to show you is one that we do at the shows quite a bit when Bridget is with us. We're going to use acrylic paints. So while well, I'm getting these guys out. And then from the Midwest, so we say these guys, what we mean stuff or people, whether they're girls and boys or not. <laughs> yeah, these guys. So um, these are acrylic paints and we have them in sets here at the store. So you can get this size paint in a complete set of 24 and it's normally $35.99, but we've got it on sale for $32.97 and then you get an extra 21% off. So that brings it down to, I don't know, I did the math earlier. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just look at the shade. We also have this set that has 36 colors in it. The paint tubes are smaller, so that's this size, but there's still plenty of paint in that. So compare those two. Now, like I said, I thought this size was this size, but it's this size. This is giant. This is $10. <laughs> Anyhow, so we've got these two sets. This uh, set is normally $29.99 and it's on sale for $27.97 and then you get 21% off that. Okay, so if you need acrylic paint, we got you. Okay, so real fast, what we're gonna do is do a little rainbow swipe. So I've got a little bit of pink there. We should have done all this together. Got our orange. We're gonna kind of go in our rainbow order. And there's a the yellow. So I'm just scraping off a little bit onto this card. And if you use like a gift card that has been used up and there's no money on it anymore, <laughs> you can use that. Use those credit card ads that they send you an actual card in the mail. Or we have some really cute cards here at the store that have a little design on them. And those are like $5 for five cards. And it makes a fun stocking stuffer. <laughs> or gift for a friend if you guys are Bible journaling together. All right, so we've got your basic Roy G. Biv colors, a little brighter, okay? So we take that and I'm gonna pull this towards me. You just stick it on the paper and then just stripe it. Isn't that fun? Isn't that cute? Let me show you something else. Now this works on, this is just regular sketch pad that I use, I try techniques out on. But the amazing thing too, is that you can use this in a Bible if you're Bible journaling. A lot of people like to do this creative Bible journaling and we'll be doing little like classes on our sites too. So this particular page has, um, this is the end of the book of Jonah. So there's really all this empty space on that page, which is why I'm gonna use a little bit of it. Sorry, 
This is a Bible mat. This gives you a nice hard surface between pages and also protects your Bible pages from getting like extra paint on them. Okay, so I still have paint on here and I can just do that. Okay. So let me set that here. Now with this, you'll want to kind of take a heat gun and just kind of dry it quickly. But if you're wondering if I just ruined my Bible, I didn't really. I mean, I may have a little bit, but I didn't really. These Bibles are designed to be written in. So it's a Bible that you can take notes in if you're in church or if you're doing a Bible study at home or if you just did your devotional that day and thought, I want to make sure I remember this. Okay. So anyhow, this is acrylic paint. And as you can see, it doesn't really show to the other side. This, it's going to show just for a second while it's still really wet. And I did have some extra paint there. So that's pretty thick. But um, it doesn't bleed through. And you can still read all those words without any problem. So this is something you can use in the Bible. It's really easy. And then you can throw some notes on there, throw some stickers on there, and you are all set. So um, along with notes and stickers, we have this set of pens. These are Savasa. Bible journaling marking pens. So you can write notes and things in your Bible with this. This is just a felt tip pen. Um, so it has that felt tip point. I'll show you right here. I don't know what to write. And I'm upside down. So <laughs> am I right? Am I right? Can I make an R? Okay. <laughs> Now I just want to see if I can write upside down or not. <laughs> All right, so there you go. And then again, this shadows a little bit, but it doesn't bleed through, so it's not going to leak. So if you use highlighters um, or anything like that, always just do a test page too. In the back of your Bible, there's an area that usually has like note weights and measurements and extra space. So if you need to test something out, feel free to do that in there. Okay, so we've got paints. We have Oops. <laughs> I didn't know that was leaking the whole time. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, so yeah, so now I just have to match you. <laughs> and um, so these little paint scrapers can kind of clean that up. This fabric is just polyester, so it's gonna clean right up. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, so if you want more amazing life hacks like this, <laughs> come check us out on our website. But our shop is at faithandartshop.com. And then we have a Facebook group, um, a Facebook page that's Faith and Art Shop. The Facebook group is Faith and Art Shop Bible Journaling. And then we're on Instagram too. But we really do um, enjoy seeing you guys in person more than this. But until we can meet in person, this is really fun. So I hope that you guys are having a good time um, watching our blooper reel. <laughs> um, and let me just see if there's anything else I wanted to tell you about. Oh, nice save, Shane. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's see. Um, yes, so like I said, we've got a clearance section on the website. We have books and Bibles on the website too. Um, if you want to do a search, we've got, um, we have paints, stamps, inks. Oh, that reminds me. Um, the brand new Kitsch Flamingo uh, color, Distress Oxide color and spray. We've got those in the shop. So um, if you want to check out that nice, cool new paint color, we've got that. Um, we also have some... Um, yeah, so we've got the Distress Oxide sprays and the blocks and, um, what else should I, <laughs> I think, I think that's about it. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, again, my name is Anne and I'm with faithinartshop.com. Um, we are really happy to see you and I hope that you have a lot of opportunities this spring to get together with people and to make memories and to um, 
record them in your scrapbooks and in your cards. Um, we also do have some coloring cards. So if you're making greeting cards, you can use this little insert um, for the coloring cards and that kind of a nice way to decorate your card quickly. Um, and again, I want to see what else I've forgotten to mention. Um, the gelatos, we have a variety of different colors, so you'll check that out on the site. Um, and we have a collection of uh, jelly roll pens. Those are also great to use in your Bible or as a journaling tool in your scrapbook. And I think we've got that. So again, just want to thank you. want to say sh thanks to Shane, our cameraman, my husband, nice dude. And showing you all the stickers right now and the collection kits. Right. Well, hey, thanks everybody. It's a pleasure to see you again and I hope to see you in person.